So I'm Steven Irby, AKA Steve Sweatpants on the Gram. Um, I'm the social director, editor at large, and co-founder of Street Dreams Magazine. Um, I started working at a young age, actually. Like, my dad's an electrician, so I grew up working. Um, he had me doing like sweeping up floors and like moving sheetrock since like 12 years old. Um, but like my first real world job, I guess, was at McDonald's at like 14. So I worked from like McDonald's to Sears to Express to Nickelodeon to MTV to Fox News to GameStop to um, REI, um, a custodian. I mean, literally, I think I hit every platform of work. <laughs> so uh, to eventually to get to the point to be like, I don't want to do any of this shit. You know, I want to do something that I want to do. And then my dad really instilled into my head, like, don't live to pay your rent. And that's been like model that I've lived by, like ever since it really made sense to me. Like I'm gonna turn 25, I'm about to be 28 now. Um, Eric was uh, working at Aritzia for a while and he decided that that's something that he just didn't want to pursue either. So he had like a really well paying job and what he decided to do, he sold his car and like, you know, I'm just gonna take the bus. And this is in Vancouver. And I'm like, taking the bus in New York is not a big deal. Taking the bus in Vancouver is crazy, dude. It's like, I don't know what the hell they do it over there. And it's like, Eric and myself has been doing Street Dreams full time for the two years now. Like, we both lost our jobs or left our jobs around the same time. And then Mike C recently just left his job and he was the art director for Raw Paper. And he would never tell anybody that, but he's the guy who basically made like the Raw logos. So then Mike C like just quit like two months ago. So then now all of us are like for the first time like fully onto a street dream. So we've been able, now we're able to really flex to, hopefully we can keep on doing like ill shit and then keep on, you know, working with people and then putting them on to like, you know, just the whole platform in general. I'm a little bit, with my shooting style, it's probably a little bit more towards the ladder where I like to like, let things come to me and let things develop. I feel that um, where I do like to snipe things, I'd rather like to snipe things in a distance that happens naturally. Like, you know, if I'm chilling on the corner and I can see like, you know, a slice of light peeking around the corner and then the bird is flying at the perfect time and somebody's crushing in the shadow, that'll be the moment I would capture rather trying to make that moment happen. Um, if I pass the street and I miss it, I miss it, you know. Uh, that's the beauty about photography is that what I've learned is we're very therapeutic is uh, shooting with me comes naturally. It just like interaction with people come with naturally. So I try to replicate my style of talking to people with the style of how I take photos and have it be very natural, very, um, I like things to be very composed because I guess I like to be well put together. And then a lot of this stuff translates towards my shooting style, so. If it wasn't for photography and a lot of the stuff that you know, I've been doing with um, my shooting, um, I would just never have the chance to ever do any of the stuff that I've been able to do now. So um, recently, th this year alone, I've been to go to, I went to London twice, I went to Ireland, I went to Iceland, I went to Toronto twice, I went to San Francisco, I went to LA. It's like, this one, I never went to California ever compared to like last year, November. It's like, it, it, even little, little things like that, I mean, you just can never imagine like doing it. But, um, and I think, what happened was I just stopped thinking about, you know, going there and just actually started to do things in order for me to get there. 